is up guys my name is Tyler and welcome back to pack and build in this week's episode we're actually going to be using a player that was suggested in a previous episode's comment section inform Lewis Holtby thank you to Matthias FC for leaving that comment he also says play him in the false nine formation so that's exactly what we're going to be doing today now I did want to mention before we actually get into the episode itself guys I do want to see more of your guys' suggestions for players that I should build teams around but unfortunately Due to my recording schedule, it's a little bit difficult for me to read the comments in advance because, for example, I'm if, as you're watching this right now, I can't really read the comment section for next week's video because chances are I've probably already recorded next week's episode of Pack and Build. So what I need you guys to do is go ahead and vote for me. In the top right of your screen, in that card on mobile or PC, it doesn't matter, there's going to be a little poll for you guys to vote on which player you want to see two weeks from now. So next week, I'm going to pick my own player. There's also going to be a poll in that episode, so then two weeks from that episode, you'll see the players that you guys have voted for. So for example, in today's poll, you guys will see Informal Sandro Lopez, Claymont Grenier, Michel Bastos, Michael Essien, and Kakuta Mane. So if you guys choose between those five players, whoever wins that vote will be the player that I build a squad around in two weeks' time. And then it will just keep going on like that, etc., etc. For, you know, the week after that, I'll have a player that you guys suggested two weeks before. You guys get the gist of things. But for now, I'm just going to have to pick my own player for next week. Either way, though, guys, it is time to get into the episode itself. Like I said, we're building the team around Inform Lewis Holtby, who does have the stats to play as a center forward. I would kind of like to play him here because I feel like he has the stats to also be kind of a box-to-box -box midfielder, 64 defending, 75 physical, as well as medium-high work rates. I think he'd be perfect for this position, but he also has some fairly good stats to be able to play center forward as well. So that's what we're going to do today, especially because that's what the comment said as well. So let's go ahead and go find some players. Unfortunately, I don't really have enough coins to go ahead and buy packs. So instead of doing it my normal way of buying packs to get our other players, we're going to be going to the transfer market. I know this isn't, isn't my method. This is actually Mr. Rossi 1990s method. He does this in his videos all the time where he picks a player that he's going to build a team around and then picks the other two from the transfer market. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And uh, I'm going to sort it by defenders and midfielders, I think, just because we already have a, a striker player. He's going to be playing in that striker role, even though he isn't technically a striker. So it'll be easier to build a team around him. So we're going to go ahead and go with the defender first. Let's go with a minimum buy now of... Actually, I wouldn't mind getting some non-rares. Let's go with 400 and then a maximum buy now of 5,000 maybe. Maybe let's go a little bit more. Let's go 7,000 and see who we can get. Only have 25,000 coins to work with. As I said, we're not going to do any specialties or qualities. I mean, just any card type between that price range is who we're going to go with. So let's go page two, player number six, because as you guys know, that is my favorite number. We've been pretty much doing that in every episode. So page two, player number six is going to be, if it loads, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, right of all, interesting choice. And then for the midfielder, we're going to go with the same price range, 400 minimum, 7,000 maximum, page two, player number six, as we head over to page two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Dries Mertens, might be a little bit hard to build a team around him considering he is actually I have an idea we're gonna we're gonna pick him up I have an idea of how we're gonna build this team so we got all the players in the team now it's time to build the rest of the team around these three players we got Mertens on the left hand side Holtby at center forward and Riedewald at one of the center back positions I think this is gonna be the best way to go about it because Holtby of course needs either a perfect link and a one weak link or two weak links and a strong link and considering he already has one weak link to Mertens right here I have one idea to link them both up, and that would be Thorgan Hazard. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the most amount of pace, but does actually link them up, which would, would be nice, I guess. I kind of want to try him out as well to see if he's any good in this year's game. He would be better centrally, of course, but, you know, we're going to have to play him out wide to get those links that work. But is there any other Belgians in the Bundesliga that we could possibly link up with? And we'll also look up Germans in the Serie A, but I don't think there's much. Is Belgium in there? Wow, Belgium's not in a top nation. Okay even though they're, what, ranked first? Okay, that makes sense. But we'll go to Belgium in the Bundesliga. Search concept players. I know they have a keeper. They have Yanazai as well, who does have four-star skill moves. Could be a little bit more tempting than Hazard, but I do like Hazard more in real life, so I would go with him. Uh, what about Germans that are in the Serie A? Obviously, Miroslav Klose comes to mind. Anyone else? I, there's got to be more than at least one German in there, surely. Yeah, there's two other ones. Sami Kadira but it wouldn't really work too well. Sorry if you guys heard that, by the way. Um, Rudiger, again, he's at the back, so that doesn't work. Miroslav Klose. So we're gonna, we're gonna stick with our original plan, have Hazard to link them off. We could, as well, get a ultimate link to Lewis Holpe if we need to. So let's look up 
German center mids or just Germany in general that play for Hamburg so that we can get that perfect link. Where are you, Hamburg? Hamburger SB search concept players. We have a few good ones. Hunt is not a bad player. La Saga, unfortunately, we're playing Holtby at center forward, so he can't play there. They play this guy at right mid, Muller, Nikolai Muller, yeah, 5'8", high medium work rates, right footed, only 3 star skill moves, we wouldn't have any 4 star skillers in the team, but he is a decent player if we wanted to go down that route, but I don't think I want to go down that route, I don't want to really get a perfect link, because if we do get a perfect link and we play Muller right here, we could pretty much do whatever we want for the rest of the squad, but I'd rather not use Nikolai Muller, he has some pace, but I kind of want to use Mario Götze, he's pretty much been a player I've had on my bench for the entirety of of this FIFA, when did I get him? Date issued at least, 922, so September 22nd, 26,000 was the bot price, I believe he only goes for like 3k now, so yeah, definitely had him for a long time, I think I've had him for the longest out of anyone else in my club, so it'd be nice to use him, um, we can get another link right here at right wing, what could we do? Now I'm actually thinking, Reidewald also needs a link, so we could also go down the Bundesliga route here and bring in Verhaeg, if we want to, where are you, Verhaeg? There you go, Paul Verhaeg, 77 rated. Probably can't afford his inform, but I'll put him in the team for now. I actually want to see how much he would be. Um, 15k, we might be able to afford him if the rest of the team's only 8k, just to get another inform in there. But he links them off up nicely, then we just need a Bundesliga right wing, any Bundesliga right wing, doesn't matter whatsoever if they get a strong link to any of the other players. So let's go to Bundesliga, take a look at the right wingers, probably not going to be able to afford the good ones. Costa probably, probably going to be too expensive, Robin's too expensive, Mkhitaryan's a decent shout. I believe this is his inform. Uh, we got Muller again, go down to the right mids. So we got going there, uh, as you guys can tell, this is not going to be a BSG team, just because I kind of don't want it to be a BSG team. just want to build a good, solid team around Lewis Holtby so that it plays well in-game, not just having an interesting look to it with bronzes and whatnot. So, Bellarabi, Costa, Mkhitaryan, as I said before, he'd be a very good shout. I really wouldn't mind using him. Four-star skill moves. Patrick Herman. If we wanted to make this a no-links wasted squad, unfortunately, we could not go with Patrick Herman because it ruins everything. But if we go with Mkhitaryan, we could still have a no-links wasted squad. If we went with Costa, we'd have to get rid of Verhaeg and then go down a different route, get an ultimate link from the center back, which actually wouldn't be that bad either. Kevin Fallen, Varinha. We could also do Herman and get rid of Hazard and go down a different route. Um, I don't know what to do. I think I want a five-star skiller in here, and Douglas Costa is very, very good. Everyone knows how good Douglas Costa is, so we'll bring him into the team. We're going to take out for Haig. I know he's good, but I am going to get that strong link, that ultimate link here. Going to try to make this no links wasted if I can, just because they look a bit nicer, but it doesn't really matter too much, does it? Really, I just want to build a good team. So we could go back to that for Haig option if we want to, but I'm going to try to go with this. We need an Ajax right back. We got Tete, we got Van Rijn, and Tete. So we got an upgraded card or an inform. I'm assuming this is an upgraded card. Mm, actually, not sure. You got a lot of pace in that upgrade. It is an upgraded card. Doesn't look the greatest, actually, but he'll do the job, I guess. He'll go right there. Just a cheeky, non-rare card. And then for left back, we can either go down the route of getting a player from Mönchengladbach, although I technically think we just need a Belgian left back. So what do, what do Belgium even have at their left back position? Am I blanking on someone really obvious? I feel like I am. I can only think of Van Damme, who just went to LA Galaxy. Who else do they have? Pokignoli, Shimanga is very, very good. Loved him last year. They have Odoi, Debak, Van Damme, as I mentioned. Jordan Lukaku wouldn't be bad at all. I think Shimanga might be our best option. I actually have an idea if we go with Shimanga or Lukaku. It doesn't really matter either way. I'm going to go Shimanga just because I loved him last year. If we need to, we'll go with Lukaku. Now, my idea is going with, what's his name? I'm trying to remember his name. He used to play for Ajax, plays in the Belgian League now. It's, I can't remember his name. It's on the tip of my tongue. It is on the tip of my tongue. We'll find out here shortly. Pro League, I believe he plays for Bruges. Search concept players. Denswil, there we go. He's right here. He is Dutch, so he gets a link to him. He's now full on cam because he gets that perfect link with the right back. So we just need to get a strong link to Mertens, preferably. And they actually have a player that would link with both him and these two center backs as well, unbelievably. 
in Jonathan de Guzman. Now, de Guzman's not an ideal center defensive mid, but he actually doesn't have bad defensive stats, if I remember. Jonathan de Guzman, where are you? He's right there. His Napoli card, 52 defending. That is a little bit low, isn't it? He would get full chem there if we convert him down to a CDM, but not really what I'm thinking we should do. It doesn't really look the greatest, does it? And it would take it off of a no-links wasted squad if we did this, but I don't really care about that too much, but I don't... Mm, I'd rather not play him there, if I'm honest. Do they have any other center defensive mids that play for that team? Where are you? Serie A. I need to find you. I went past you, didn't I? Probably. There we go. Either way, Serie A. Napoli. I don't think they have any other ones from the Netherlands. Doesn't look like it. Definitely doesn't look like it. Uh, we'll go to center mids as well. See if they have anyone a bit more defensive minded that's from there. Nope. No one. Okay, so we need a new plan then. Um, we could go with Kadira and go down a different route here. If we want to. We could bring in Pokegnoli. We're probably going to have to re get rid of him. The other, that idea did work. Like, it, it worked fairly well. And we could get rid of Tete and bring back in Verhaeg if we wanted to. And then just go with any Dutch keeper. It'd be a, a really attacking midfield. But I could just tell these guys to stay back, in all honesty. Hmm. I kind of I kinda really want to use the Guzman. Just because I want to use these other players that are in the team as well. You know what? Let's do it. I can't really think of another idea to go down, so we're going to go with that option that I had before. So, where are you, Verheg? Actually, if we go Verheg, it wouldn't be no links wasted, of course. If we remember correctly, we'd have to go with Mikatarian. So, we take out Douglas Costa, bring in Mikatarian, bring back in Verheg. Where are you? Verheg. Can... There you go. Verheg, search concept players. Of course, doesn't play for Napoli, but it still, still comes up either way. Get rid of him, bring in Mikatarian. How do I spell Mikatarian? Mick? No. No? <laughs> How the hell do you spell Mikatarian? There you go. That's interesting. Mikatarian. There you go. Search concept players. We get his 83 card. That's not as informed, but that is his upgraded card. We'll probably be able to afford that. And then, of course, De Guzman here might be a little bit of a risky play, but I don't really care too much because he is. I don't know. It'll be a it'll be a good team nonetheless. We'll tell our fullbacks to stay back so that we have some cover for sure in the midfield. And I honestly, if we had these four players just sitting in the midfield, really wouldn't be too bad. Goods is not awful defensively. Well, 32 defending is awful, but he does have some nice physical stats and is tall, at least somewhat tall. He has some decent physical stats as well. 56, I don't really consider awful physicals. I think like 30s or 40s are awful physicals, but 52 defending is going to work perfectly. Holtby has 64 defending. I said he's a box-to-box -box type player. So was Deguz, man. They're both box-to-box -box midfielders. I think it will do just fine. And with two fullbacks that also have pretty good defending, Verheg has 80 defending. I think we'll be just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and buy all the players. I do need to get a Dutch keeper in, though. And this would be no links wasted. I need to make sure, because last time I said it was, and it wasn't, I was wrong. And that's just because I didn't look over the team hard, hard enough. Uh, I think Michel Vorm might be the keeper I go with. Dutch keepers... Michel Vorm, probably the best option. Silson's the only, the only other one, and he ruins the No Links Wasted part of it. So Michel Vorm. Now let's see if this is No Links Wasted. Does everyone have the amount of links that they need? He only has the amount of links he needs. He 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 has the amount of links he needs. So does he. So does he. So does he. So does he. This is a No Links Wasted team. It looks pretty decent. Again, the midfield might be a bit too attacking, but I think it will manage just fine in game as long as we tell our fullbacks to stay back while attacking so that these three can pick out passes in the midfield. We have two box to box guys in Holt, B, and De Guzman, so I think it will be just fine in game. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and buy all the players, and I'll meet you guys at the squad screen. And here is the completed team. It actually looks very nice. I was surprisingly able to afford the inform for Haig, a right wing back version for whatever reason. Someone, I guess, had them in a, had him at a five at the back formation, but I uh, didn't have enough coins to change his formation afterwards. As you guys know right now, a little bit strapped for coins. If we head back, you can see how many coins I have left. 445 after building that team, which is unfortunate. I will get more coins in the future. I am getting the coins from B-minus's team of the year, Danny Alves. 
uh, when he sells that. I'm waiting for him to sell it just until uh, he rises in price so that I can get the most coins possible. But until then, we're kind of strapped for coins and we had to settle with this team. And I actually don't think it looks too bad. I know a lot of people won't like playing a De Guzman type player at CDM, but with him and Holtby able to be kind of box to box midfielders and having Mertens and Goetze who are a little bit strong, Mertens maybe not, but Goetze is at least a little bit strong. Uh, it will be an, it'll be an okay midfield, and then we have our wing back set to stay back while attacking. We head over to the player instructions, so you can see stay back while attacking and stay back while attacking. So they won't push forward too much, meaning our midfield will be fine being box to box roaming type players, which I think is perfectly fine. But either way. Here's the completed team, let's go get an opponent. Unfortunately, wasn't able to find an opponent in single matches, but we were able to find one in the online tournament, just a regular gold cup. And he's got a very, very good team. Aguero linking with Di Maria, who links with Arie, who links with Toure. That's a pretty decent team, not the most creative of hybrids, only two leagues, but it's still a nice squad. Bellerin at left back. I'm kind of scared. Okay, we'll just go like that. And then we'll lay it off to him. Find him. Nice. De Guzman near post, nice save, Courtois. Mario Goetze cutting in with his right foot, tries to finesse it across. If you want to finesse it, you usually go to the near post, and that's why it was off target. Nice work, Mkhitaryan. He's cutting inside, laid off. Lewis Holtby, one touch, finesse shot with his strong left foot. The player we built the squad around gets the first goal of the game. Thank you, Lewis. Here's the replay. Mkhitaryan cutting in, sees Holtby making a nice run, takes one touch, finesses it past Courtois to make it 1-0. Shimanga is honestly just so good. Awful clearance, but that's my fault. Able to track back though and get the ball away, somehow they score a long shot. Vorm, awful keeping. That is Aguero though, so can't really fault him too much. It was a good goal. Still, don't really think I should have conceded that. Aguero taking it, scoring, awful clearance from Shimanga. That's my fault. Damn it. Nice turn from Lewis Holtby. Seeing the run being made. Thorgan Hazard first time puts it wide. Holtby. Holtby coming through. Cross goal with his strong left foot once again. Puts it in the bottom right corner. Nicely done once again, Lewis Holtby. Here's the replay coming through. He's taking on three defenders. LTRT dribbling to beat one. He's wide open. Cross goal with the strong left foot. Nice finish. Nice tackle to Guzman. I said he was a box to box player. Look at that tackle that saved a goal. 29 yards out. At least just put this on target. Okay. Holtby. Oh my word! What a finish! That strike, that free kick, was so perfect that no keeper in the world could save that. You couldn't put that more top right corner if I went and grabbed the ball and placed it there myself. What a finish! Oh my word! Looking at that again, incredible. Look at that smile from that man, Lewis Holtby. His hat trick completed. Ah, uh, this is gonna be a goal. Three on one. Aguero getting the box. Of course he's gonna sweat it. Oh, he doesn't. He actually takes it near post and he misses. Eden Hazard in the box. Could have went down and was could have been a penalty, but Shimanga, nice tackle. And there we have it. 3-1 is the final score in this game. The Lewis Holtby squad played absolutely brilliantly. Lewis Holtby in particular was absolutely outstanding. A hat trick for him playing at center forward, a player that's usually not a center forward playing there. He was brilliant. He has a brilliant shot behind him, a brilliant pass behind him as well. But if it was me, guys, I would definitely consider playing him in that center mid role. He is kind of suited to be a box-to-box -box player, and although he is good at shooting and going forward, I think it's kind of wasted having him at center forward when you could have him with his defensive capabilities play in one of those center mid spots and have another attacking-minded player at that center forward position. Just adds another shooter into the team, and it really makes your team more deadly going forward. But the team altogether was absolutely solid. You can see that the Guzman, the player that we were debating not playing, uh, it's at center defensive mid actually got the second highest rate rating on the team Lewis Holby of course with the hat trick is going to get that rating getting three to Guzman had one assist had some pretty nice other stats as well one one tackle lost three Dries Mertens even though I said he's probably gonna be the most disappointing out of all three midfielders tracking back won six tackles out of nine very nicely done. I would say the team, as I said, it's a little bit too attacking. Sometimes I'd notice my players were too far forward. For Haig was able to stay back when I told him to stay back in the player instruction. Shimanga sometimes would be up the pitch a little too far than I would like him, but he was able to track back with his pace and clear things out a number of times. But I think you need to make this team, to make this team better, 
uh, take out Mertens, maybe. He was the player we had to build the team around, but I'd still take him out, bring in Lewis Holtby down, and then bring in an attacking player at the striking position. Or you could also take out Gutza and put in someone like Sven Bender, for example, and then just switch to Guzman and Bender in game. It would make things, I guess, a lot more balanced for you because right now with this team, your team pushes forward too much, so you need kind of a rock in midfield. But I still think it played well. Regardless, if you guys did enjoy this episode, a like would be greatly appreciated, guys. This is where this video is going to come to a close. Again, please vote for which uh, player you want to see me use in two weeks' time. I am picking my own for next week, but in two weeks' time, I'm picking the player that wins the vote in this video. There is a card in the top right for you guys to go ahead and vote for that. No, but other than that, guys, I haven't seen Royal Day or Tyler, and I'll catch you guys next time. Damn controller dropping. This is going in the outro. Don't care.